All right, welcome back. News first at noon on WKYT. You know, there's all this talk about bed bugs. So let's talk about uh, some potential solutions. Yeah, we want those solutions, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Ashley Osborne, UK Extension Associate for Environmental Issues, Blake Newton, UK Extension Entomology, and graduate student Jennifer Gordon are all here to give us tips to make sure that bed bugs don't have to ruin your vacation. We wouldn't want that to happen. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, we, Thank so you. we Welcome. have our expert uh, team together here. <laughs> Uh, Blake, uh, how bad is the bed bug problem? Um, well, it's uh, maybe not as bad as sometimes you hear in the news media, but bed bugs are back. They were gone for a lot of the 20th century, but now they are back. Um, and they, they are getting into certain areas like apartment buildings, motel rooms, and even sometimes in private homes. So it is a problem that we have to think about and have to deal with. Do they easily travel from one location to another? They can travel from one location to another in, in luggage or when people move from one apartment building to another, for instance, they can move around, yes. Okay, so we talk about a moving around. You brought some, but at least they're <laughs> contained here. Uh, tell yes. us about this. So I brought a couple bugs. Now these are insecticide susceptible, so if they get loose, we can kill them. <laughs> but I basically wanted to show you that they're a little bit smaller than a quarter of an inch. Um, those are the females, Ooh, and these are the, the males. Yeah. <laughs> They'll, you'll find these often uh, around the headboard of your home, um, maybe near the nightstand. But I mean, if you do get them, you know, it's nothing to, to panic about. There are ways to get rid of them, mm -hmm. and it has nothing to do with, you know, socioeconomic status or cleanliness or anything. You know, wherever so, there's a person, you could have these. Mm -hmm. So that's what they look like. Ooh. So <laughs> what okay. are some things you can do? So when you're traveling, what you can do is when you get to your hotel, you um, basically want to set your luggage up on a tabletop or some sort of luggage rack. Then you want to inspect your mattress and your sheets. So basically look around the seams of the mattress, especially where you would lay your head see if you see any bed bugs or if you see any little dark spots or stains that might be an indicator that there have been bed bugs there. Well and if you do I, I mean I guess you want to get the heck out of the room right? <laughs> right. <laughs> you want to contact the hotel and ask for a room in a different part of the, the building um, so on the opposite end of the building and then inspect that room as well. <laughs> Words of advice for kids heading off to school too should they be making that kind of a check as they head into those dorm rooms? Dorm rooms yes definitely same kind of thing. Mm -hmm. One thing that I would recommend for children is um, you can go to Kmart for maybe 25, 30 bucks and you can get a mattress encasement and you can put that around your mattress. That way if you've got anything on there already, you're trapping it in and if you do find that you have them later, it's very easy to get rid of them. You just pull that off, throw it away and get a new one. Sounds like a good investment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Certainly. All right. We appreciate the advice. Thanks for coming. Thank no you. problem. Thank Take you guys. Bed, 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 bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want them? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all oh, very right. much. Bye. Good information.